Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm about to review a very fun slasher that I love from the 80s. It's called The Slumber Party Massacre. To be honest, I'm just I just got done watching this movie and I didn't realize that this movie was released on this day, which is September the 10th, 1982, 40 years ago. So, yes, the 40-year anniversary. So, I had to do a review of this movie. I love it so much. I'll show the case of it. This movie is just a blast. I always, I always like order me a pizza and just, you know, watching this movie when I'm off work. It's a fun time inside. I might end up getting that steel book just for that 4K scan. But yes, um, yeah, I get that it's a silly movie, but it's supposed to be. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the plot, as it stands, revolves around the escape of a maniac from a local mental institution who begins, you know, terrorizing members of a high school female basketball team. And this movie is fun and awesome to me. It's all done in great humor with a female director and writer. Um, has some funny moments, too, like the part with the pizza boy and the part where the girl takes the pizza from the dead body and just eats it anyways. <laughs> I just laugh at it every time. <laughs> yes. It's a good slasher film. That thing was awesome. I just had to. I like those things in the movie. Um, yes, it's a chill. Um, yeah, it, it's chilling and, and puts me in a mood to invite friends over to hang out and turn up. Um, the characters was great. I usually like for the killing these type of slashers, you know, to wear a mask, but this guy did great. Um. Yes, has some brutal kills in it. Love the killer's weapon. It's like a drill. And the ending was good. Them girls take care of business. That crazy guy. Um, yes. They made two more after this one. Which to me, I only like this one. Yeah, part two was just even more crazy. It was just insane crazy. And the third one, mm. Yes, that's when, like, everything just went downhill, like always. Then the remake, yes, it was it was all right and all that. And I give this movie, like, three stars out of five. Yes, check this one out, y'all. It's a fun little good slasher. Oops. Oh. Hi, baby, y'all. My phone always, for some reason, fall. Yes, I think it's so crazy that, like I said, I, I was just watching this movie and then for some reason got on YouTube and noticed that, yeah, it was released today. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a coincidence. I was just watching this movie. Yes. I showed it a top 25 80 slasher video. If y'all want to check that out, I show it added this on there. It's really... Amazing. Shut off the case some more time. Cause that guy did a very good job. He was just insane crazy. I like this part too. Yes. This show is really good on Blu-ray. Screen Factory always delivers the goods. I still don't know if I'm going to get the other ones. Might just stick to this one. But yes, you guys. That was my review on the Slumber Party Massacre. I did this review for the 40th anniversary 
which is today. Loves me so much. And I will continue to do more videos on horror related movies since it's getting almost down to the wire, which is getting closer to my favorite time of the year, October. Can't wait. So yes, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.